Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use CSS variables to change several elements at once. Uh, CSS variables are a powerful way to change many CSS style properties at once by changing only one value. Follow the instructions below to see how changing just three values can change the styling of many elements. In the Penguin class, change black value to gray and gray value to white and then yellow value to orange. Okay, so that's very straightforward. What we're going to do is change these periodically and then we're going to look to see the changes. So the first that we want to do is change black value to gray. This is the black on here. And so we should assume that the gray will make this part change. Oh, cool. And it made it so that it, we lost the sort of belly shape as well because the belly and the skin are the same. And so we're going to change. Now we're going to go from gray to white. And this might make it so it's brighter in here. Oh, that's neat. Finally, we're going to change yellow to orange. Oh, cool. The nose and the feet came out more. And so that's basically what they're trying to do. So let's look deeper into this code. The penguin skin is gray. Um, as you can see down here, we've got the penguin top. We've got the penguin bottom. We've got the right hand, the left hand, the right cheek, the left cheek. And um, oh, look at this. OK, so the way that they're um, pulling this information, they're, we're going to the background is being called by the variable dash dash penguin squin <clears throat> penguin skin gray and so when we look up here we see penguin skin gray and then if we over, over here penguin squin okay and so when it says penguin skin this is the first variable and this is the second variable so it's defaulting to this if this variable isn't called that's a really interesting way that it comes together right we see the left cheek which is probably this one it's supposed to be either white or pink, and then we've selected it as pink up here. The beak is orange. If we look down here, we see we have beak top, beak bottom, and then it's beak, penguin beak orange, penguin beak orange. It's already set to orange, that's interesting. And if we change it to yellow, we see that the beak changes to yellow. So the variable changes it. So instead of the penguin beak being orange, it's changing it to yellow. That's really interesting the way that works. So anyways, this is how it works. We can pass these variables down to the rest of the um, class selectors in the CSS. And if we run the tests, we'll see that they pass. Oh, it didn't pass. We should assign this one to gray. Oh, gray spelt with an A. Got it. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.